Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Oxford and I'm in a prison hotel. This place is crazy. It was last used as a prison back in 1995. All these cells have been converted into luxury bedrooms. And considering that I did a prison hotel in Bodmin um, last year, I think it was, I thought I'll upgrade myself this time. So I've decided to stay in the governor's suite. We'll check all this out later, but first let's go and see my room. So I'm now in the governor's area. And this is where my suite is. Love the original walls though. A bit spooky at the same time. Now I don't have a number, I have a name. And the name and the room I'm staying in is Thomas Lowton Robbins. Look, there's two rooms here. Here we are. And this is named after Thomas Lowton Robbins, who was here from 1837 to 1952. Wow, first thing you see is the bathtub. So my suite is on two levels. It's also a little bit confusing because the bathroom is downstairs, but really randomly, the bath is up here. Yeah, not quite sure why, standing on its own little raised area, but it's one of these old cast iron baths. Look at that. I love how they put the towels in these boxes. Nice fluffy massage soap. I've got some salts for the bath, a shower cap of flannel and some shower gels over there. Clock is huge. And as I came in, You'll notice the little touches of prison life, still here. The TV, no, but your lockers, what look like lockers anyway, are little cabinets. Is there a little, oh yeah, there's some stuff inside there. You can see that some glasses, nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Oh, there's nothing in that one. So the only thing that's in them is a couple, a couple of glasses and something to open some wine with. So I'm staying half bored tonight, which means dinner and breakfast is included in the price. And when you hear the price at the end, you'll be thinking to yourself, actually, this is a pretty good deal. On the photos though, I saw what looked like was a nice little sofa area, which I thought that'd be nice to relax and watch TV. Um, looking around the suite, there is no sofa. And what's behind there is a little bit uh, odd for a hotel room. But yeah, a nice little sitting area here, just across from the bath, but Obviously, this is the, I guess this is the living area, you'd call it, with the TV over there. It's just so odd that you've got these lovely two comfy chairs here. The TV's there, but the bath is just there. I've got a huge wardrobe though. The robes are in here. And a safe. Ah, here is the mini fridge. And tea and coffee. Never seen that brand of biscuit before. All the tea and coffee, the milk is in there. Branding is on point. Premier in kettle though, which looks all right. I always say you can tell how clean a hotel is by checking out the, uh, the spoons. If they're nice and polished like that, you know that the rest of the room should be lovely. Look at that, you can even see your face in it. So like I said, on two levels, before we go downstairs, let's head this way. Now I thought this was probably gonna be where the sofa is, but for some odd reason, it's almost like it's a, a boardroom. But the TV in here is huge. In fact, it's, it's bigger than that one, but I don't think I'm gonna be, uh, well, unless I order in room service, really sitting in this room. I love the references to prison life and counting down the days, the weeks, the years on the pictures. You still see the original old windows in here as well, really narrow. But I don't think I'll be using this room. Let's take you downstairs. More of the prison artwork on the walls. This area is huge. And there you see the bed as you come down the stairs. It's a very gothic feeling room. The window down here is huge, but check this out. Look at the, 
Look at these spikes on the windows. All original as well. That hurts. We'll be getting out of there in a hurry. Love the bed though. This is um, really nice. These huge, big, ultra luxurious lamps. More branding on point. Branding on the phone, nice. I've got some water, water here. I do like the headboard though. This is really nice. Nice big mirror over the bed. And even look at that. And the branding continues on the cushions. So over here we've got the mini bar. And there's a price list just here. How much are things? Crisps are £1.50. Nuts are £1.75. And yes, this is red wine in a can. £4.50 that is. Tassimo machine as well. Some espresso. Wow, look at this. When do you ever get a Ferrero Rocher? Very posh. The bed is very low down actually. Wow, laying up and looking at that ceiling. The high ceiling makes the bed feel even lower than it is. It's quite low to the ground, this bed, but I guess with the high ceiling, like you're right down in the basement. I don't know, I'm getting a little bit of a, a funny vibe, if I'm being honest. As long as nothing whispers to me in the night, I'll be all right. Like what happened at the Savoy. Just that window up there spooks me out a little bit. Love that look. Lights out at 10 o'clock. It's okay because if I get stressed, there's some calming mist. That smells like alcohol. Calming mist with a hint of lavender. Alcohol and lavender, just in case I get stressed. But come with me and check out the bathroom, which is pretty big. Also pretty basic. The toilet actually gives you prison vibes, doesn't it? It's the kind of toilet, it's a little bit upgraded, but that low down toilet, which I've seen in lots of prison films, actually looks very realistic in here. Big old sturdy sink, another massage bar. The finish isn't overly that great down here though. Look at that. Heated towel rail, and we've got a pretty big, nice walk-in shower. This is actually quite um, long. If you are in here in the shower, hopefully people won't be able to see you walking past because can you <laughs> see the gaps? They haven't done a very good job. I mean, like um, someone with um, binoculars could quite easily have a look in here. Like I can see to the car park there. So yeah, people could still get an eyeful whilst I'm in the shower. This must be one of the narrowest showers that I think I've ever been in, but one, I think you could probably only get about three people in here. The windows in here make it feel really spooky, but obviously it's an old prison, so it's gonna feel like that. So they give me two choices for dinner, half past six or half past eight. I've chose the earlier option actually, half past six, we'll have a drink beforehand. Uh, but before we do that, let's check out the rest of the hotel. Look at the chairs when you come in. Love this though. Prison rules. Compared to Bodmin Jail, this feels even more like a prison. I know that sounds stupid, more like a modern prison, I guess. There's more chairs to relax on. The rooms are lit up. Look at that. The bars still on the windows. You wouldn't see that in a prison very often. Open doors to the exercise yard. Where the exercise yard was. Oh no, can I get back in? You. Martin be back in prison. Whoa, look at the lift. What? It's like a padded cell. That is so weird. 
Right, let's go up to the third floor, shall we? Door this lift is just really, I would say old, but I don't think they had lifts in prisons. Or did they? I don't know. I tell you what, it actually does smell really nice. I tell you what though, if I did stay in this part of the prison, I would definitely want to be right at the top because it feels a little bit more lighter and less oppressive. You can't use any of the stairs. They've all got all these security bits of glass on them. So I think it's health and safety, so you can't use them. So if you want to go up a level, you kind of have to go up on the lift. So this is A wing, C wing is down there. And apparently if we go downstairs, we can actually see what the prison cells were like. As you can see, they are pretty small. Some of them have been knocked through to make a bigger sweep. This door for some reason has extra bars on it that seem locked. I wonder why. Two doors. Which door do I go to? I think there's just more rooms down there. Ah, no, this is the what the cells used to look like. Crikey. We'd not want to be in here. Is there any lights? There's any lights, is there? Is there a light switch? No, no light switch. Beds were pretty basic, bunk beds. I assume the toilet would have been over there. Who would have thought in the early 90s, if you'd have been in this prison, thinking about the fact that it's gonna be turned into a luxury hotel and you can come back here and stay? Crazy. They do have uplights of the doors because it's quite dark, but some of them don't seem to be working. Let's head into the visitors room. So this is where the prisoners would have come to see, well, obviously visitors. This still feels very much like a very old prison. Look at the windows. Not quite sure what this space is used for now, but it sure does echo. Imagine being in here though, and the only bits of light you can see are right up there. That wasn't there before. I think we're looking down into where reception is, aren't we? Governor's house, there's more suites through here. Love the fact they keep all the original walls as well. Rooms continue through here. We're going through to C wing. get a bit of a less of a prison vibe this side so the hotel isn't actually that busy but I can't imagine many people wanting to sit on these sofas it's a weird vibe okay time for dinner I think it's this way Here I am in the restaurant. So, with the half board basis, I can order um, a main and a dessert and a side, or a starter and a main. So, I think I'm going to go for the main side and dessert. And the premium products, you just have to pay a supplement. So, I thought I'd go for the steak actually. The supplement on the steak is £7.50. Um, so, yeah, that's not bad actually. Steak for £7.50. It is very small in here, but I love the fact that all the rooms, all the kitchens, looks like they're still in cells. That's crazy. Wow, the steak looks pretty good. I've gone for a side of mac and cheese. The steak apparently is quite thin, which it is. But look. Wow, the flavour of that. 
that's that it's just taken off a barbecue. The only thing that I like on the dessert menu, which is the hot dark chocolate fondant with mint chocolate chip ice cream, they don't have any of. Typical. Apparently they sold out yesterday. Gutted, so we'll have to go for the creme brulee. Well, dinner was nice, but for some reason the dessert took about 15 minutes to come out of that creme brulee. It's the biggest creme brulee I've ever had before. It came to 16 pounds. Now I could have not paid the extra to go for the steak and I could have just had something off the menu that didn't cost anything that was included in my half board, but there wasn't much of a choice and um, a lot of the stuff I didn't really want. My glass of wine cost me eight pound 50. It's probably what put the price up. So most of the inmates, I mean guests, are in their rooms and I'm gonna to retire to my suite. I'll see you in the morning. All right, just very quickly, I was just gonna run my bath and I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but there is a scum line all the way around the bath. And I can definitely feel it, that the bath hasn't been cleaned out properly. It's a bit gross. Morning. Well, luckily, I don't think my room was haunted. Didn't have anybody whispering in my ear, which was good. So um, I'm up quite early, just after seven o'clock. Now the room's really quiet, but can you hear that? They seem to be very hollow, these rooms. So the walls in the main prison are quite thick. This side though, I think the walls are quite thin. That's all I could hear all night from people above me and also people across from me as well. But then again, you get that in most hotels now, don't you? Right, let's go for breakfast. Sunny starts of the day. Thought I'd go down for breakfast this way. awful lift. Maybe not. I'll take the stairs then. So there's a little bit of a buffet in the other room but hot breakfast you basically just order with the waiter that comes around so full English breakfast it is. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed by the breakfast. I don't know if you're familiar with McDonald's breakfast and how they do the eggs, and the eggs are never runny, they're kind of just that hard, yellow, oaky, yolky thing. The egg was just like that on the breakfast. The sausage and the bacon were a little bit burnt as well, and it wasn't the best coffee. I feel like I, I feel bad moaning about it, but yeah, I've had better breakfasts. One thing I'd say, if you're gonna come and stay here, I would stay in the main prison wing to get the full experience. I said in the beginning of the video that the reason why I've chose a suite this time is because I wanted to be a little bit different because I stayed in a jail cell in Bodmin, so I thought I would stay in a suite here. The only problem with this suite, and I think most of them over this side, is that the walls are really thin. I mean, you can hear the neighbor's TV, you can hear them showering, you can hear the people from above walking around as well. I don't know why, but my neighbor was coming in and out of his door all night long. Woke me up pretty much every hour between 11 and four this morning. If I compare this to Bodmin Jail, I have to say I prefer Bodmin Jail Prison. It's a bit more luxurious than this is. This is luxury, but I think that's just a little bit better in my opinion. So parking, there is a little bit of parking at the front of the hotel and they kind of move the cars all around and double park them just so they can get them all in. Um, and I didn't realize until I pulled up at the hotel that the parking was 35 pound a night. So how much did it cost one night in this suite? It cost me 417 pounds. That of course is half board. That included my dinner last night, no alcoholic drinks of course, and breakfast this morning. But tell me what you thought in the comments. You can see that video just here. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.